Check that out. Got a coon and a coyote set, and the turkey vultures are just, they're waiting for him. That's pretty weird. Had to fend off some people, haven't you, buddy? Look at them all. Turkey vultures are hungry. This is the second coon that I've caught in this coyote set. Um, but yeah, those turkey vultures, they was having a time with it. So, nice looking coon, big boar coon again. But uh, anyway. Pretty strange occurrence. I could see the I could see all the turkey vultures from down the way, and I figured I had something in this set. All right, gonna get this guy taken care of. Move on. All right, so we're checking sets today here, and uh, boy, it's got muddy. <laughs> it was frozen and it got muddy, uh, you know. But but using sets that work in inclement weather, using wax dirt, proper bedding, everything else. You know, it rained last night. It snowed. It sleeted. It did all. It, 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 we had all four seasons last night. Uh, anyway, as long as you do your part, stuff like this will happen. So we're checking sets today, and uh, I've got this real nice-looking coyote. For my area, this is this is a very nice-looking coyote. Um, you know, this <laughs> this is your higher-end coyote for this area. You can see the nice coloration on him. Uh, you know, you got that nice white belly. Just a good-looking dog there. Um, so anyway, we'll talk location here. So you know. I always hear people talk about, uh, you know, you, you need to stay away from your sets, this, that, and the other. You can see that dog is held. I mean, that foot is still touching the pan on that Duke 650. Um, just, just a great, great catch. This was a hay set set here, um, right here on the this four-way intersection. There's my truck. Okay, I, I hear a lot of people talk about, oh, you got to stay away from your sets, this, that, and the other. You know, I walk up to or drive up to every single one of my sets every day. And I have for 16 years, okay? Uh, you know, I, I have had the opportunity to ride around with a lot of good trappers. There is nobody that's gonna sit there and check your sets from a long distance, do that. Don't be confused, you know, you can see right there. There's my truck, there's the coyote, okay? Right off the road, the only reason I didn't sit in the road was because that road is so hard I can't get a stake in it. So I came right off the road. You can see we've got coyote tracks galore down through here. This was a, a hay set. Now, this set, this is this is my fourth check on this set. This is the first catch. It's also the first time this set has been messed with. Um, you know, so these coyotes, they, they just roam. Uh, you know, the, especially where I'm at here in the Midwest, it's not an every night deal. These coyotes, they you can see the terrain I'm in out here. It's super open farmland they they just have a pretty wide home range and you know you're not going to get those every night catches you got to let this trap settle in just like this one did but just a real nice looking coyote there uh locked up great in that 650 you can see here he's got all my hay messed up so we're gonna have to clean that up whenever we do the remake but uh you know just an awesome looking dog here and like i said right there next to my truck okay so as far as location goes um Pretty basic. We're we're setting on these pinch points, these bottlenecks, these neck downs. We're putting ourselves in the highest percentage areas we can. This one is no different. So you got the road there, obviously, where my truck is setting, and then just over here, you can see we've got a creek that comes through, uh, you know, and it's a big fence row. So we are set up on a four-way intersection, um, you know, and it, this just ups your odds of being able to to. To basically bottleneck those animals they have to go across uh, right here and it, this is what it produced so anyway not a lot of science to it um, you know use your aerial maps look through I mean look for the path of least resistance you know that is a lot of what this is these critters are not gonna work hard to travel if they don't have to so got that nice coyote there it's a beautiful looking dog and he is uh He's being pretty photogenic for us, but yeah, nice looking coyote there. I'm gonna get him taken care of real quick, and uh, we're gonna remake this back the same way it was. 
the ground's thawed out. I can probably get a dirt hole in again. And, uh, you know, I love Remax. So I have full intentions of making another catch right here in this set again before I get out of here. But, yeah, another nice coyote, guys. It's pretty simple. All right, so we're going to remake this set here. Now, as I said before, this is a hay set. Uh, this is a... This style of set, whether you want to call it a grass set, a hay set, whatever, um, you know, this is a set that works very well in the Midwest area where we end up with a lot of rain, a lot of freeze, a lot of, you know, very changing inclement weather. Like I said before, last night it rained, it sleeted, and it snowed. Still caught, um, still caught this coyote. So my biggest reason for using it more than anything is that it's just able to be able to work in all this mud you know you can see it's just mud everywhere um and so much so we end up with big rains and freezes that you know your standard trap bed and dirt hole there's so much water in the ground that we get a big freeze it freezes the ground and then as it thaws all that water will leach up so you know i still run a, a, a you know a fair amount of dirt holes i'd say i'm right now about 60 40 between uh like a step down dirt hole set and running these these type of grass sets or hay sets um you know, there's a lot of a lot of people around here use them it's a pretty good uh pretty good set for the inclement weather so you can see no foot damage whatsoever in that in that 650 there um just a great trap i i, I can't speak highly enough of this trap I, I really i wish i had more of them actually uh I, I wish i had more of these 650s because they are they are a great coyote trap all right, so one thing to really watch out for with these hay sets is obviously, you know, this this grass or hay or whatever material you're using, um, it does tend to get get quite plugged up with your your trap and your swivels and whatnot. Obviously, you can see all the mud. Uh, you know, this will impede the function of your trap. Will it freeze? Uh, for instance, you know, within 48 hours from right now, it's going to get down to eight degrees, which is going to freeze everything up. So I take a lot of effort and a lot of time. In, in cleaning up my traps after I make the catch to make sure they're going to work again. Um, you know, make sure those swivels are, are functioning proper. Uh, get all that grass or hay or whatever, you know, out of there. Make sure it's a, it's a good functioning trap there. Um, you know, and then normally I'll set them or at least get close to setting them and, and just clean everything up. Now, one thing I am doing is, although I'm using this hay set, I'm still running wax dirt. Uh, you know, eight degrees is going to freeze down about anything. So you can see here, I've got wax dirt still in my bed. It's the only dry thing around here. And I still bed in, in wax dirt. Uh, so anyway, as far as the resets go, pretty simple. My bed is still pretty well made. I run short chains, as you can see here. Uh, so it, you know, it doesn't really waller out that, that trap bed too awful much. So anyway, we're just going to reset that, that trap right there. Um, you know, I only run one, one trap whenever I'm running hay sets. Uh, I've got a buddy who, who traps quite a few coyotes there and, and he likes to run two traps. I, I, I funnel these coyotes down pretty hard with the, with the hay or the straw. And, uh, you know, so I, I, I only run one, um, you know, that's to whatever you want to do. A lot of states have different laws about that too. So check that out. But I have no problem running one set. Like I said, I funnel them down pretty hard. So anyway, we're going to put that trap right there on night latch and we'll test fit it right there back in that bed. That's a good looking, good looking fit there. You can see I can push anywhere on that trap and uh, you know, it's not going to move. So you still have to bed your trap. I mean, that is one of the critical things. And uh, you know, these big wide traps, they, they do bed really nice. So anyway, we've got it bedded. I've got a layer of wax dirt down there. Keep that trap from freezing up and freezing down you know more than anything your trap will actually freeze down the levers will actually freeze down um, you know and that's what it keeping it from firing so anyway a little wax dirt on the top there uh you know i'm not too worried about completely covering this trap up i just want it to, to be able to to function in that weather and that wax dirt's gonna allow me to do it so you know it's not completely covered all the way up like i would if i was doing a dirt hole set because i am going to cover this with with straw all right so there's the finished set um big dirt hole right there covered up my trap is right there in the lowest spot and uh, you know this hay is probably 
I don't know, it's probably bunched up like, I don't know, five, six inches. It'll settle down out of the, over the next couple of days, but I still want the lowest spot right there in front of my trap. Um, I'm just, you know, all I'm doing is making a step down dirt hole set and surrounding it with hay. I mean, it, that's just, that's, that's the gist of it. There's no science about this. I am taking the exact same set that I use 95% of the year, which is a step down dirt hole set. And I'm just surrounding it with hay just to keep the ground from, from mudding up so bad is basically all I'm doing. So, you know, that's set. All right, so checking sets today here, and uh, you know, I, I'm using two different kinds of sets right now. Uh, the areas, whenever I started trapping that were thawed, I punched in my standard step down dirt hole set. Um, you know, for the most part, because I waited so long to coyote trap this year, the ground was froze solid. So the majority of my sets are, are hay sets or grass sets, you know, just because the ground is just like concrete and you can still work those sets. Um, still did get a couple of, uh, couple of step down sets in in good locations and um, well here we have one of them so anyway got this nice coyote here um, just a perfect perfect above the pad catch here my shadow is going to be in the way but I'll show you that Duke 650 right there I mean every catch is just like that I love those style of traps obviously a lot of it's just the way I'm setting too but great catch on that coyote this is an ugly coyote he's orange and not got great color, but uh, he's not rubbed at all. Still got good fur. So anyway, this set here, uh, you can see, you know, I hear a lot of people talking about staying away from sets and different things like that. You know, I don't necessarily believe that, so to speak. You can see right there's my truck. This is the farm road or the field road that I've been driving down every day. I actually made a catch on another coyote just up the way about 50 yards a um, couple of days ago. So this is my second catch at this location. Uh, this is just a nice field road here. Whenever I came in and set this, I could see coyote tracks on that road. And, uh, you know, that's why I set it. Now, this road has got rock in it. Obviously, I can't set in the road, um, you know, like I wanted to. So I came off, you could see I came off less than five feet from the edge of the road to where my trap is. And I punched in. This was a step-down set. I'll throw up a picture right now of this set. Uh, what it looked like whenever I set it you can see there's pretty good backing to it and pretty good guiding um, Now the reason I set this the wind right now as I'm standing is is at my back This is our prevailing wind and uh, the reason I put the set on this side of the road is because I knew I had to pull that coyote three four feet I mean I knew those coyotes were coming down the road. That's where the tracks were, but I couldn't set and uh, so I put this set on the side where that prevailing wind would carry that scent across the road. Um, you know, you guys have heard me talk many a time, you're not gonna pull these animals 50, 60, 70 feet, but you know, in instances like this, you are gonna be able to pull them with, uh, you know, good, good bait and lure, you can pull them four or five feet. Uh, not only that, but this was a step down set, had a lot of visual appeal to it, uh, so that also helps. But yeah, this is, this is the way I set. I check, you know, right next to my truck, no problems. I uh, caught this coyote. Like I said, I got another one in a hay set just right up there a couple days ago. So there's a pretty good, pretty good pinch point, pretty good location. Um, nice coyote, nonetheless. We're happy to take him. So anyway, I'm gonna get him taken care of. Um, you know, it's nice because it's it's only about 10 degrees right now, and uh, so what little bit of stirred up stuff that this coyote made the, the set is still pretty well intact uh because it's just so cold so you know i'll be able to dig out all that fluff and that that dirt and stuff that he uh kind of brought into the trap bed and uh you know it's so frozen i'll be able to find the old dirt hole rebate it and uh you know hopefully catch another coyote before we leave but anyway nice coyote nonetheless there we go dispatch him there with a uh a headshot with a very slow bullet right in the catch circle um, you know there's very minimal minimal red stuff you know whenever you use that slow bullet you can see this duke 650 just a awesome awesome pad catch there uh, that's right where we want him we'll take him out and like i said this was a step down set because whenever i set this because of the the grass that is now not really here but the grass was thawed enough that i could dig in a step down set so that's what we're gonna go back with here. Um, you can see this was a pretty good clump of grass 
that's what I had for my backing and I had this pretty well dug out. It's a little froze right now. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and kind of dig it back out. You can see just the where the chain had been working is still kind of loose, but you can see all the way around it is still really uh really frozen solid there. So just take we'll turn up all that all that dirt again. Throw that up there. You know, a lot of people talk about too much guiding for coyotes, and I'll tell you right now, uh, I, I don't believe that. So there's my old hole right there. That's actually my old lure stick. The ground's so froze, everything's real nice. So that was my old two, two pieces of bait. We'll just chuck them away from the set and, uh, and get new. So you can see we've got this turned up now. You know, this, this looks like something's living in here is what it, what it looks like. Um, so anyway, I'm go ahead and dig out that old trap bed, bedded everything in wax dirt. You can see that wax dirt's coming up real nice. This set is, uh, has worked, you know, whenever it's been, been very cold. So anyway, pretty simple. Um, go ahead and make sure all our swivels are good. Trap tag still there, everything. All right, so make sure our swivels are all good. Uh, I'm gonna test fit this this trap bed again. Like I said, the ground's so frozen, it's pretty much gonna go right back where it was. Um, so we'll just set the set the trap again here. Make sure she's gonna fit pretty good. That'll work. All right, we're bedding in wax dirt because, like I said, it's cold. Um, and we've got a lot of moisture in the ground, so if it if it does warm up, um, you know we're going to deal with a lot of that. So anyway, we're bedding in wax dirt. Go ahead and take a pan plug there. Just fiberglass pipe insulation is all I use, and uh, we'll bring that trap right down the night latch there. So you know one thing about bedding in wax dirt is you actually have to bed in wax dirt because your trap will actually freeze down won't really freeze up so I always like to put a, a little layer there of wax dirt in the base make sure that trap is bedded right down in there real solid solid as we can get it cover it up Still pack in, you know, that wax dirt. It doesn't pack quite like natural dirt, but you still need to do your best at that. All right, there we go. Simple as that. Like I said, we've cleaned out our dirt hole, um, you know, ready for new bait. You can see that dirt hole compared to my trowel. I've got it dug down. You know, that, that dirt hole's eight, 10 inches deep. You don't want to have that canine be able to come in and grab that bait and leave. You know, that just, takes your, your chances down of being able to catch him. If he's got to sit there and work at it, the more chance he's got of being able to, uh, to put his foot on that pan. So all this material here is, is pretty wet. So I'm just going to take some of this loose grass here and just kind of just somewhat disguise and break up, uh, you know, that wax dirt a little bit. Still, you can see ground levels right here. My traps way down here. It's just a great, Great set, uh, you know, step down set. So this is just my go-to set as long as, you know, the ground's not concrete, you know, but uh, yeah, anyway, there we go. Real nice set. That's the finished set there. Uh, last thing to do is, uh, is we'll put some bait down that hole and then a little bit of a uh, little bit of gland lure since we're in late season here. Uh, I'll, I'll run a little bit of gland lure. So we'll just take a couple nice chunks of, of bait there. Stick right down in that hole. Make sure he's got to really work at it to get it. That's our finished set. I'll, I'll show you all what the set looks like and then I'll throw up a picture of what it looks like before. And the, it's pretty, pretty similar really. So anyway, finished set.
Kyle, move it on. All right, let me get out of the sun for you guys. There's the finished set again. You can see, nice step down set. Looks like something's living in there. Uh, you know, I mean, that's that's this, you know, with this grass, there's not a huge catch circle, but uh, you know, I'm not that worried about it. That's what the set pretty much looked like um, before. And that's what we're going back to again, right there. So that is just a great set. Uh, caught thousands and thousands of coyotes. But uh, anyway, there we go. Load them up, truck, move on.